Just wanted to make a quick video on replacing the coolant hose on an older style Haas VF3. Uh, as you can see, this coolant hose is shot. It can't even bend it anymore. And the last thing you want is that breaking in the spindle head and just getting all your electronics wet. This is stiff as all can be. So um, just a few tips on it. Uh, um, you definitely want to pick up one of these, just a hose cutter. Just makes it easier and safer than a razor blade or utility knife. And that you could get in up here. As you can see, that's where the hose goes into the head. And then it'll come down out over here. Let me get up here and show you closer. The hose runs from here through this hole behind this oil line and then up through the cable track. Now what I did was I took a drill, drilled a hole in both ends of the tubing. Um, what you can do too is cut it's going to be so stiff it's going to be very hard to get it off this barb and through this hole um so what i recommend is cutting it here unscrewing this barb cleaning it up buying a new one you don't typically want to use mpt over and over again so i just recommend getting a new one if you're going to go through this um uh, so cut the hose here you can even cut it again here, but make sure you leave enough hose coming out of that cable track so you can drill a hole in the end and tie some string to it. That way, when we go to install the new hose, we can simply tie it to the new hose and pull it through the cable track. Let me come around the back of the machine and I'll show you some other steps that definitely help. So here we're at the back of the machine and the coolant hose basically comes from that fitting, like I said before, up through the cable track and down. You can see the string going up through the cable track there, coming back down. Now, the coolant hose will go through that hole right there in this uh, sheet metal box, come down here, down the cabinet, and then under here to your uh, coolant tank uh, pump. A uh, little tip, come over here. If you pull this back cover off, uh, you can actually, the, the old one's gonna be so stiff, it's gonna be hard to pull through like a right angle there. So I recommend pulling this back cover off. It's just four bolts. And you can see you have a lot more access. You can cut the hose short, push it through the box and then pull it straight out. And this is what the hose looks like, just drilled through on both sides with um, a little string on it, that's it. Once we get the new hose in, I'll uh, put a hole through the end of it and retie this string onto it and pull it up through the cable track and up to the fitting in the side of the head. All right, so we're at the back of the machine I got a hole drilled through my new tubing, got it tied off to the string. I got my whole roll down there. Uh, this would probably be easier with two people, but I'm going to feed it in through the back of this box up the cable track and pull the string on the other side of the cable track at the same time. I'm going to need both hands, so we'll come back and see if it was successful. All right, as you can see, we got that tube through. Got the uh, string on the end of it, um, and we got it fed up through the back here. Um, a couple tips. You may have to move this cable track around as you're pulling the hose through, because it obviously wants to get caught right up here, a little bit before here too. Now we'll just rough measure uh, from the hose out of the back here down to where the coolant tank is, and then we'll snake it through that bottom hole uh, and then route it nicely down with zip ties. 
we're at the front of the machine and we got the new fitting all taped up ready to go and then we will cut the hose to length and crimp it here it is with the fitting installed and the uh, clamp on there i decided to go with the odeker clamps this time around um it was what was on there and um it actually worked really well these pliers are awesome they make the job a lot easier and there you have it. That's pretty much everything there is to know about replacing the coolant hose on one of these older Haas VF3s. Um, I recommend hooking it up to the coolant and just checking it for leaks before you put that side head cover panel back on. Um, but other than that, yeah, there you go. If you have any questions, just throw them down in the comments.